What's up, everybody? Old School NYC Gamer, back once again here. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode number two of Tabletop Times. Uh, if you haven't seen the first episode, please feel free to check out the playlist within my channel, and you'll see episode number one. So, you got to be wondering which one of these games I'm going to be featuring today. Now, it's not necessarily within this collection here, but actually in the depths of my closet. Now, this was a game that I used to play with my cousin quite a bit, and some of my relatives back in 1981 and 82. The company itself who released this game is called Bambino. Now this company within, you know, the name was actually a J Japanese uh, electronics company back in the early 70s, or actually say late 70s and early 80s, produced 12 other titles besides the title I'm gonna show you here. Now, it's a bit strategic, I gotta say it's a little hard, but I definitely do have some ties to this game. It has a lot of nostalgia for me, hence why I wanted to feature it in this episode. So without further ado, let's go over to the uh, little area here in the game room and let me show you what game that is. Boxing. It's power, excitement, and strategy. And now it's all at your fingertips with Bambino, the boxing game with over 100 million computerized plays. Beat this electronic miracle, and you've beaten the best. One or two can play the Bambino, and you're in total control of real-looking boxers that can punch, duck, counterpunch, and go down for the 10 count. Bambino boxing with over 100 million plays. Beat a Bambino, and you've beaten the best. So you got to be wondering what I have in store today. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. And that is Boxing by Bambino, also known in some places as Knock 'em Out Boxing. This game was definitely a rage quitter, especially when you didn't know how to play this. But then again, I was about six or seven years old. Uh, this is not only a one player, as you see right here. Usually one player would be on this side, two player would be over here. But one player here, two player here. And, of course, you do have your skill levels. Let me just show you some of the buttons. Uh, the buttons here, as you can see with two players, uh, you could go back. Uh, you got your normal, which basically you would have to go forward to throw the punch. Of course, you got your high, medium, and low. And you could also duck in, with a low punch right here. It's the same thing over here. Now, it's basically, you know, you got your one player, two player. You got your skill one off, skill two, and your start and reset. And there's not really much to this game, honestly. Uh, in the back here, you got your got your adapter. And this does take 4C batteries, as you can see right here. And some of the instructions, the basic operating instructions on how to play. And, I mean, yeah, that's about it. Basically, you just got to uh, knock the crap out of the opponent or your best friend. Um, just remember, uh, you know, if you're playing with two, two players, control left boxer punches and so on and so forth and yeah that's about it and what else is there to say about this game people so without further ado i'm going to show you some gameplay here of knock em out boxing and we'll be right back well after repositioning the camera a few times and wrapping myself around the camera itself we're ready to go so let's check it out here i'm just going to turn on the skill one and as you see right there, you have the two fighters getting ready to duke it out. Now remember, I'm going to be playing from the player one side, not over here. I'm probably just going to hold it just to uh, reinforce this. And let's check it out, people. Okay, so of course, like I said, you see he's just waiting for me to come in. He's just th throwing punches. So of course, if you want to advance, you press the normal and you go back. So... I'm going to get up here. I'm going to throw a couple punches at him. Throw a couple jabs. So he got me there. So like I said, people, it takes a little bit of uh, getting used to, especially when you're playing this game. You can see right there, he's got me down for the count. So I'm just button mashing here.
Yep, and that's the end of the round right there. So you get the gist of this, people. I just wanted to show you this. And, uh, yeah, it's a fun game. Uh, definitely, you know, good game to play here. And, uh, you know, I would definitely recommend this if you're definitely into boxing. You're definitely a collector of tabletops like this. And that's about it. Like I said, I just want to show you some quick gameplay. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Tabletop Times on my channel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down at the bottom. And I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. And that's about it. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you for watching and take care. Cheers.